Today we are going to talk about Rajan Tata, an eminent business leader who retired from the conglomerate of the Tata group of companies and one of the famous quotes that he made was nothing worthwhile is ever achieved without deep thought and hard work. We chose Rajan Tata as the business leader from India for a one credit course that was conducted by the Concordia College of, on Creative Leadership in Alpha Arts and Science College, Chennai. Talking about the life history or the personal background of Ratan Tata, he retired as the chairman of the Tata Group of Company and was born on the 28th of December 1937 in Mumbai. He belongs to the ethnicity or the race of Parsi and he started his career in the group Tata group of companies as a blue collared employee which was nothing new for him in growing up as a chairman of Tata group of companies for he belonged to the pedigree of the Tata group of companies. However, his alma mater goes back to the Cornell University for a degree in architecture and from Harvard University for a degree in advanced management program. Talking about his personal background, he remained single throughout his life but had two dogs to give him the best companion for life and enjoyed driving his favorite Falcon jet. Now coming about the various qualities of Rata Naval Tata that made us uh, to choose him as a business leader for the day and for the presentation in order or in random selection some of the qualities that we admired and the examples that were cited to prove the qualities in him are presented here the first quality that we would like to state was him being a visionary he had a vision and developed a vision when he was about to take the post of a chairman of the industry. But unfortunately, he could not do it on time for the sickness of his mom. And at that time, he dreamt for the Tata group of his companies. And this, his dream was, having said that, I hope that a hundred years from now, we will spread our wings far beyond India. The second important quality that we admired with Ratan Tata was empathy, which made him stand out of the crowd, made him win people and convince people over situations in times of commotion. And one of the classical examples that should be cited at this instance was the effort that he took and the stance he made during the 26 by 11 attack in Mumbai on the Taj Hotel which allowed him to rebuild and renovate the hotel with no loss. The most important, the most important quality of Ratan Tata that is to be admired was his willingness to take risk and his courage in making decisions. He is one of the most uh, daring decisions was to develop a technology to build the car Tata Nano, which was not a poor man's car as per Ratan Tata. It was rather a technology for building an inexpensive car, though the sales target did not uh, meet up to the expectations and made many people think that it was a failure project. He has the, the technology that has laid foundation for future of building an inexpensive car. Tata started developing many strategies to make his vision come true and that is what made him a change maker. He reformed the Tata group of companies from a family enterprise into a multinational corporate by buying companies or procuring other companies like the Chorus and the Land Rover and Jaguar. And uh, he made Tata group of companies into a Tata conglomerate. 
besides he inculcated some of a values some values to his uh, corporate company like for example making the employees feel socially responsible and the company being a reliable company for the public and the employees and for that cause he initiated many many activities or many uh, trusts for example the Tata Council for Community Initiatives which took care of community activities for both the employees and the public and the environment the initiative of Tata Trust like the Tata Ratan Tata Trust and Navaj Bhai Ratan Tata Trust the Tata Institution Research Foundations which also give some scholarships for students going abroad and a center of excellence for working on climate change and the Tata Affirmative Action Program for the future. He took initiatives for running up many community programs organized by the employees of the Tata group of companies to make the public feel that his company is socially responsible and they care for them. Tata is a very competent person and once again we have to cite at this stance the building of the Tata Nano which because it was a path making endeavor that set new global standards in the technology of building a new car. He also uh, he also made Tata Nano a new technology and called it as people's car because it was actually a bridge of technology between the technology of building a scooter and the technology of having a car in a scooter so there were a lot of innovation and low-cost technologies involved in it and at another competency where he 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 made it explicit was the building of the first Indian car Indica which was fully made out of Indian efforts right from the spare parts to the employees who made the car which is a milestone in the technology of building a car in India the first Indian car Tata Indica some of the other qualities which is required for an efficient leadership as a chairman of Tata group of companies or the conglomerate to be correctly said was his resilience which he had it uh, right from his beginning maybe which uh, root goes down to the roots of how he grew up for his lack of his mother's love and of growing up in a dysfunctional family the next important quality that he developed in himself was being a very creative executive that is he developed many creative strategies to meet financial crisis when the Nalco problem rise up and he also uh, led into the development of the TCS and Tata Motors to get listed in the New York Stock Exchange by developing a very novel strategies. To talk about the achievements and honor that was poured upon Tata as the chairman of Tata Conglomerate R. In 2000, he received the Padma Bhushan from the Indian government. 2008, again Padma Bhushan from the Indian government. In 2009, Golden Indian Award from NASCAM Global Leadership Awards. 2010, Businessman of the Decade by the Federation of Indo-Israel Chambers of Commerce. In 2011, Lifetime Achievement Award by the Asian Business Leadership Forum. And once again in 2012, by the Rockefeller Foundation of United States. And in 2012, he received the most honorary position of becoming the member of Prime Minister's Council on Trade and Industry. Some of the greatest achievements which Tata Ratnevar, Tata Ratan Natal Naval Tata achieved during his lifetime are 
this dramatic reorganization into the group without causing any commotion to suit his style of working to launch India's indigenously built Indian Indica car, the emergence of a technology of building the world's cheapest car via the Tata Nano, the ability of making a, the Tata Steel Company to be the lowest costing steel makers, the introduction of a $20 water purifier, the global acquisition of two-thirds of revenue being generated by the group and above all in making Tata group of companies as a Tata conglomerate which is one under one roof today and no one is on par with him in India's economic reforms for running an organization which is as, as big as the Tata group of companies. However, like any other leader, Tata has his own trials and disappointments. He had to face the India's new liberalization policy when he had, he had, to, had the fear of losing his companies and had to face the crisis of like any other multinational corporations like for example the TCS and he had the competition of being the who will be the higher from both the inside and outside when it came to his uh, retirement age and he had many failures like for example the telco of the Tata Motors the failure in making the sales target for the Tata Nano and uh, some of his acquisitions like for example the Chorus Jaguar Land Rover did bring down the the Tata group of companies in BSC Sensex because of the debts and the 2611 Mumbai Taj Hotel attack, of course, which was not on of his control. Talking about the scandals that took place in the period of Ratan Tata was the scandal of the 1997 when the Assam insurgents got a clean cheat from the courts and the accusation of the CEO of Tata Finance for the mismanagement of funds and the radio tapes of Tata's chief lobbyist relationship with middlemen, politicians and bureaucrats. However, he had a clean cheat in hand. Finally, another court which Ratan Tata believed in himself and made him Ratan Neta Nabal Tata, a business leader, was, I don't believe in taking right decisions. I take decisions and make them right. So always believe in your ability and your efforts, which is the reason why we chose Ratan Tata to be our business leader. Thank you.